He had a disease called ankylosing spondylitis for which our textbooks have no treatment at all. So the doctors told him you have only six months to live, just be here. Not able to move even a finger so loudly that he saw his fingers moving. Three months later he was perfectly normal, went home, lived for another 50 years and died at the old age. Now I'll take this front row and if I have the blood sugar level, I'll check everybody's blood sugar. How many, if you are 25 people, 25 readings will come in that. No two readings will be alike. Now what do we do? We take the average of that and call it as normal. This is the biggest curse on mankind. That's only an average, statistical average, it can't be normal. If you really go for a checkup, now for example all of your blood sugars are checked, there will be different readings. If I take an average and see, none of you is normal. None of you, remember mark my words, none of you is normal. You are either high or low. So both ways you are, you are a patient. So you go for a checkup as a human being, you come out as a patient. <laughs> because of statistical methods. This is okay for one blood sugar. But if you take about 200 parameters, that's what they do in corporate hospitals. But corporate hospitals are there to make money. So you go there, they'll take your blood and then give a big thick report, you know, this thick report. And then charge you maybe about 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 rupees. But if you look at this report very carefully, many places it will be written in thick letters, abnormal, 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 abnormal. Then you come to the, a lot of people come to me and say, Sir, my uric acid is slightly on the higher side. I said, so what? What's your problem? I have no problem. I said, then it's a doctor's problem. Why are you worried about it? <laughs> it's very interesting. The other day I was lecturing in an NITK, you know, what's that called, National Institute of uh, Technology. And I told the boys, they were doing biomedical engineering. I told them, have you got a weighing machine? They got a weighing machine. I said, now keep it here. Now 10 of you come, weigh yourself and write down the weights. And then say, this is the weight. What's the average weight? So they calculated. I said, any one of you has the average weight? No. Then you are abnormal. <laughs> you know, this is very difficult. What is the normal Indian height of a male? We take 1000 people, take the average, huh? uh, it's about 5.4 plus minus 2. So, let's say 5.6. How many of us are 5.6 exactly? Amitabh Bachchan goes for a checkup. 6.2. So the treatment is cut his leg, make him 5.6. Jaya Bachchan goes for a checkup, 4.6. Transplant that leg to her and make her also normal. This is the medicine we practice. Don't practice that medicine. Your medicine is, are you feeling happy? Are you healthy? Do you love others? Do you work hard? You are fine. That's so beautifully put by Ayurveda. Samadhatu samagnisya samadosha malakriya prasanna atma indriya manasvasta ityabhidhyate. You get up in the morning and say, did I sleep well? Do I eat well? Did I shit well? Did I piss well? And am I happy? Do I hate anybody? Nobody. Then you are healthy. Nothing to worry. But if you hate somebody, you are not healthy. You are very dangerously ill. And you and death are very, very close to each other. So don't hate people. Love others. Do you know why? You are not a single individual. That's why you are not I. You are a cell when you are made in a mother's womb called a zygote. One cell, one single cell, human cell. But that cell was like you. It could think, it could eat, it could piss, it could shit, it could do everything. That cell has divided, 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 divided over a period of time into 122 trillion cells. Each of them individually capable of being human beings. So I call them a colony. So each one of us is a colony of 120 human beings. Loving each other so much. Today you have a biophoton camera. If I photograph you, I can see your cells jumping with happiness. And when they are jumping with happiness, you are healthy. But the minute you start hating someone else, supposing I sit with Justice Kotari, and then I am jealous of his uh, position, etc. Then I say, when will I be just like Kotari? I must pull him down and put him down, somehow or other. The minute the thought goes in, your cells feel bad. Because sitting here, my cells have started loving Kotari cells. They love each other so much. But if the owner hates the other person, the cells say, why is he doing that? Is he very foolish? 
ఐ లవ్ కొతారి సాబ్ వైజ్ హేటింగ్ కొతారి సాబ్ స్టిల్ ఐ గో ఆన్ హేటింగ్ కొతారి సాబ్ ఫర్దర్ ఐ స్టేజ్ విల్ కమ్ మై ఓన్ సెల్స్ హేట్ మై ఓన్ సెల్స్ దాట్స్ కాల్డ్ ఆటో ఇమ్యూన్ డిసీజ్ హ్యావ్ యూ హర్డ్ దాట్ దర్ ఇస్ నో ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఆటో ఇమ్యూన్ డిసీజ్ గో టు డాక్టర్ హిల్ గివ్ యూ స్టిరాయిడ్ దట్స్ నాట్ ఎ ట్రీట్మెంట్ దట్స్ మేకింగ్ యూ వర్స్ బట్ ఆటో ఇమ్యూన్ డిసీజ్ క్యాన్ బి కరెక్టెడ్ బై ద మైండ్ యూ జస్ట్ హ్యావ్ టు టెల్ యువర్ మైండ్ టు బి హ్యాపీ అండ్ నాట్ హేట్ నో బడి there is a nice book for all of you to read please read that it's a small book it's called anatomy of an illness what's the book's name anatomy of an illness it's written by an american journalist very good english his name is norman cousins norman was a great journalist so he was covering christopher kennedy meeting in the moscow airport where a jet was turning so the jet the hot jet fuel jet air hit this man at the t- at the temperature of minus 30 degrees so from then on he started having stiffness in the muscles and joints and to cut the long story short he had a disease called ankylosing spondylitis for which our textbooks have no treatment at all and this man is supposed to die in another 6 months time he was admitted to harvard hospital because he was a very rich man big man in america big name normal cousins so the doctors told him you have only 6 months to live i don't know how the doctors have become astrologers these days we are predicting the unpredictable future of patients they anyway they told him in 6 months just be here so he was there not able to move even a finger one day some of his friends came there and he old friends old time sake they were all joking around and suddenly everybody laughed and norman also laughed for the first time he laughed so loudly that he saw his fingers moving then his friends collected lot of these charlie chaplin movies those days you know there were no television so they brought this uh, 16 mm gudu 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 run in the olden days have you gone to a cinema theater after one hour it will stop next reel will come it went on he laughed 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 three months later he was perfectly normal went home lived for another 50 years and died at the old age and then he wrote it's all in your mind happiness is the the reason why you feel so happy so uh, healthy and so nice this is a accident even if you are healthy you can still get a disease because but if you follow the health rules this is are less like if you follow the traffic rules accidents are less but even with the best traffic rules accidents do occur so one can't say i will not get a disease i will be very healthy no no you can't say that you can say i will live a healthy life and be happy that's in your control and i would want all of you to do that because when you are healthy you are healthy to even work you will be a blessing to society so i want all of you to be very healthy happy contented and loving one another